Welcome back to the Dart Show. We're on our way down to the Players' Championship Finals in Minehead. But first, we've stopped off here in Bristol at a builder's warehouse to meet Nathan Aspinall, who's doing a media day with some of his sponsors. And he's looking to rebuild his career after injury this year. See what I did there? I disgust myself. Yeah. Roller coaster of the year, been so many ups and downs, it's, it's unreal. I've had obviously the injury, pretty much back to 100%. I'm back to my best now. It's two major finals in what, five weeks? You know, I'm not playing my A game by any stretch at the moment, but what good time to, to come into my A game with the Worlds coming up. But just to put it in context, I know the injury's sorted now, but how bad did it get? You were genuinely worried about your career and you probably had to rely on the support of a lot of people, whether it was your management sponsors, the PDC, friends, family, all sorts. It, it was close to being the point where I had to have the operation. If I didn't have the operation, I couldn't play. I, I had this injection, seemed to have sorted the problem out. So between a lot of them, we kind of got it to a point where I could manage it. Uh, I'm dead proud of how I've dealt with it, because uh, it was bad. I'm dead happy it's all done and dusted, and now I can just solely focus on my darts. You must be astonished at how little time it's taken you to get back to winning ways. I just think there's not one, but one other person who plays the game of darts that has as much will to win as me. I give it everything. Any match I play, I give it 110%. Uh, I, I leave everything on that hockey. Yeah, it's been a great year. Like I say, I'm really impressed with my floor performances this year. Um, you know, winning two of them. The last couple of months has been really good, obviously, following up from the quarters of the match play. Um, a final in, uh, in Leicester and a final the other week. There's only maybe two downsides I can pick from that brilliant run at the Grand Prix and then the Grand Slam. Uh, the first, didn't really perform in those finals. Is that fair to say? You came back into it in the yeah. Grand Prix. I think it's been that long since they've been in the final. You know, the, the one in Leicester, to be quite honest with you, and I'm playing Michael. Uh, Michael knows what I think of him. But whenever I play Michael, I always struggle at the start. I was pretty poor at the start of that match, and I came back, but any dart players watching this, they know when you're that far behind, the shackles come off, and it is so much easier to start hitting doubles, etc. And, um, yeah, against Michael Smith, I was good burnout. out. He, um, he obviously had the day off on the Saturday. I played, you know, a long game against Saturday night. I was just absolutely burnt out. But, again, another final. Steps in the right direction. Steps in the right direction. The only other downside I could see is that by having that brilliant run at the Grand Slam, you missed out on seeing end dubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. God, you know what? I should have gave him the game before he even started and gone, going to watch him. But, nah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was my girlfriend's uh, birthday present. And, you know what? I'm not embarrassed to say it. I, I, I used to like him as a kid, so... Um, still, do. Would, yeah, still, still do. Still do. I know you've already got your eye, Premier League, World Series. You've come back into the big time this year and you want all the rewards associated with it. That's what I want. I want the pinnacle of the sport. I believe I belong in the Premier League and I've been in it twice. I've had two great runs. However, I've not actually experienced the full Premier League. I think I played six times. You don't. You play this game to be at the top and you know, you know the Premier League is the, the pinnacle of the sport. I'd love to travel Europe, playing in massive arena, you know, Rotterdam, and obviously Manchester, my hometown. That, that's a dream of mine, just to walk out of the MEN, uh, where M Dodge was last week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, obviously I've tried hard. I, I put so much hours and time in over the course of the last six months. I'm not going to say I deserve it, but I'd like to think that I can get some kind of reward for it. Thank you. Do you want size? 